Let us consider this problem. The human eye opens at a rather late stage in the development of the individual. He has already done the most marvelous work he will ever do. In a mysterious way, in his mother's womb, he has built a human body. And this body has organs that are directed to certain ends and intentions. And these were not the organs designed by reason, designed by consciousness. Reason and consciousness comes to itself and asks later, what is it I'm all about? What is it I am here for? What is it I'm all about? What is it I am here for? Why is it I do this and that? Why is it I do this and that? What is it I'm all about? What is it I am here for? Furthermore, the coming of the eyes into the general biological picture is very late. Life had already originated hundreds of millions of years before eyes opened and saw what was going on. Saw what life was doing. Now if you'll see and think what it is that life does, that life has to do in order to be life. It has to kill and eat other life. That's the basic thing. This is a rather monstrous thing. And when the eyes see what the situation is on which its own life depends, its own existence, when conscience and consciousness become aware of the preconditions of their own existence, there is often a sense of shock, a sense of horror. You know, the basic word of Buddhism, all life is sorrowful. That's one way of recognizing this. There is also the feeling many have of guilt simply for being alive. This is, in a way, symbolized in the image of the fall in the garden. Life is monstrous. I am here for. 